Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report with yours truly, the Algo Capitalist. This end of day report is for trading on Tuesday, May the 15th, 2018. This will be a quick video. This is a video by request. I've been getting a lot of requests for the altcoins in the crypto space, so here it goes. Starting with the weekly chart of Litecoin. As you can see, this market is in a downtrend channel. All right, it has been that way for quite some time, as you can see here on the weekly chart. Let me just move this over a little bit. All right, you can see that the market is well off its highs um, in the 300s, and we've come down to the 140 price level. It should be noted that the market has lost its uh, momentum as indicated by the blue trend line here and as long as prices are remaining below this momentum line our expectation is for the market to continue to drop but now here's the argument that the market may be building or trying to find support at this level and that is here the longer term momentum is still in a bullish zone. Now, keep in mind that when you're in longer term zones, prices can both rise and fall. In this situation, we could argue that this falling down in price is nothing more than a pullback buying opportunity, all right, because of the bullish momentum within this space. For example, in the last uh, longer term momentum reading, we had a bearish momentum cycle and prices did come down bottom and then began to rally. Back here in this space, we had a bullish momentum reading. Prices fell to rally though and fell down instead. All right, here we had a bearish momentum reading. Prices did collapse, but then recovered but they did collapse just as the warning had said so. And this one, the market really took off just as the momentum reading indicated. All right, so you do have those situations. All right, can it happen again here? Of course it can, but as with all things, we have price and time and right now, price and time is suggesting that the market still is very weak at this point. So you are in a longer term downtrending cycle. The market has ceased to trend though, not hitting any new lows, supports back in here. Instead, the market is kind of just drifting. It should be noted that yes, you do have a pointer, all right? The bar was made on the week of May the 4th, and here you are, okay? So I do believe that it's going to, you know, time will tell where we go from here. Only thing I can say for certainty is that the price triggers will get you in and out of the market as sees fit. So at this point, you don't really necessarily have a clear direction but it's better to trade with the trend. And that longer term trend is down. All right, for right now. All right, you're in a downtrend channel, but you're bullish because trend lines and price are above the Kumo cloud down here. All right, so as long as price is above the Kumo cloud, you're doing okay. All right, so that's. That's that. All right, so for right now, longer term, the market is still in a big cycle wave, which is bullish, but for the shorter term, you're in a downtrend channel, so prices are bearish. So you could basically say that the mic, the market is still in a corrective phase from this extraordinary rally. Haven't given it all back, but you're given 
quite a bit back, you could pretty much say you're in a, at a pretty much between a 50 and a 61 point percent retracement. So at this point, the market could or should bounce from here. It's just difficult to know with certainty. Your technicals are mixed, all right? So the technical aspect of the market is mixed for the time being. What you could do is just, what I would do anyway, is to play the price triggers, all right? The technical readings are there just for you to be able to know what kind of market you're dealing with. But at the end of the day, you don't have to know. You don't have to guess direction. You don't have to know which way the market is moving or is going to move. All you need to do is be in it when the action starts. And the way to do that is to follow the pulse wave price triggers with the intraday price inflection points that put you in the trade at the right price at the right time. Price and time always meet at the intersection of the intraday uh, price inflection points as indicated in the weekly pulse wave price triggers. All right, so there you have it on Litecoin. Taking a look now at, e, at um, Ethereum. Let's pull this one up. All right, this one seems to be much weaker than the former one. Let me see here. Give me a. Let's see. I'm gonna pull up everything here. Let's see where we at. Okay. All right, trying to find my, here we go. All right, pull this up. Okay, so taking a look now at the Ethereum. Ethereum actually right now is looking a little bit weaker. And yeah, it's lost. Momentum is, you see prices falling below the momentum line, so it's giving up momentum. The other, but the odd caveat is that you have a, you're in a bullish cycle right now as far as momentum, but yet it's dropping on it. So like the former chart, this could be a, an opportunity to, to buy a bounce, all right? And this may not be a straight up, you know, catastrophic, you know, washout. So this is this is interesting. You have a longer term correction on this weekly chart. As you see, you're in the downtrend channel, well off the highs. But you got issues. This is a very messy chart. One of the reasons it's messy is because in this zone here, you have not corrected. This gap is going to have to be filled at some point. So I think as everything is happening outside or top side of the Kumo cloud, it's just going to be a very interesting chart going forward. Once again, I say go with the, the price triggers on this one. Let the, uh, let the market tell you what to do, and it will get you in. Trying to, to guess direction can be difficult. Just follow the price wave, the, the the pulse wave price triggers on this one as well. Okay, I've corrected the uh, the chart so you can see it a little bit better. This is the gap I was telling you about here in the uh, in the Ethereum. Okay, and you can see how it's dropped below the momentum line and headed toward the um, the Kumo cloud. So this one's pretty much uh, in a free fall state. But like I said, be careful. The price triggers will get you into the trade the way you need to be into the trade. So just follow the price triggers on this one. And then you don't have to guess. The price triggers are designed to take all the guesswork out of the market. So you don't have to worry about, you know, is, is, is today a buy day? Should I be selling? Should I be, uh, you know, buying the market with a stop and reverse? Or is it? you know, a peer buy day or peer sale day, whatever. That's what the price triggers are designed and to, to let you know. All right, so it takes all the guesswork out of the market. All right, so moving on to our next chart. Let's see here what we got. 
All right, Dash. I've been getting a lot of questions about Dash. All right. So here's the Dash. Dash, a little bit different chart here. As, yeah, the market is below the momentum line. But this one seems to be at a crossroads. You have a longer term downtrend channel still in effect. All right. Mad wreckage on the chart. Bounced off those lows. Pulling back again. But getting real close as things are narrowing here and trend lines are dropping here. It would appear that one of two things are going to happen. This is, first of all, this is a narrow range or narrow range in inside day, but because it's a weekly chart, you call it narrow range inside week. So the market is poised for a breakout. We do not know if it will be a breakout or a breakdown, but the market is poised to break out from this bottleneck. Either it's going to explode up or it's going to crash and burn down. This could be the a development of a you know a much longer situation so it's looking like because we have a momentum indicator here longer term this is a weekly momentum reading all right this weekly momentum reading is showing that the breakout could be up just like this last momentum cycle the market was in prices did eventually break down so see what you can do on this one you may be able to capture a really big uh, positional trade on this one. So watch the price triggers carefully. All right, um, let me just see if the daily will show us anything more so. Okay, on the daily, the prices are clearly inside the Kumo cloud of death. So yeah, prices should be uh, volatile in this situation. Um, and on a daily, it's showing that it's on a negative. So the daily and weekly charts are not in alignment at this time. And you've lost momentum here, too. So it looks like in a short run, you may have a little bit more downside to go. It may drop outside of the Kumo cloud before you get the bounce that you're looking for. All right. So eyes and ears open on this one. All right, let's take a look at our next chart. Let's see what we got next. Okay, Bitcoin Cash. All right, Bitcoin Cash. Here we go. All right, same similar situation. All right, price is falling. Longer term downtrend channel. Weekly momentum reading is on the positive side, but prices seem to be heading down. You're trading within this. Uh, third third week cycle here. All right. He haven't really taken out the highs or the lows, haven't broken out one way or another, but the market is poised for a breakout. It's looking like the breakout will be down, but you never can tell. It could be breaking out. It's still early in the week, so we really don't know what to expect. All you can do is use the price triggers to determine what you should do. All right. This was a this was a pretty powerful week right here. So I'm thinking that the market is going to try to err on the side of caution and follow its weekly inflows, which is bullish at this point in time. All right. So definitely trade with the trend and uh, you won't be stared wrong. You won't you won't go wrong trading with the trend. Um, and that's all I can tell you on that one. Just follow follow the, the market's trend on those, okay? You definitely want to do that. And then that way you won't get hurt, all right? But right now, a negative momentum, the selling pressure is there. All right, so with that being said, that's all I got for now. Um, thank you once again for tuning in and remember pulsewavetrading.com where you can learn how to trade like a boss learn how to put the power of the weekly pulse wave price triggers in your hands 
and know what the market is going to do before the market even realizes what the market is going to do. That is the power of the pulse waves, ladies and gentlemen. And with that being said, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back. Peace, and I'm out.